guys, welcome to Office Blokes Reacts. I am Prince Barry, and uh, my wife is called Megan DeBarkle. <laughs> I'm Bill Burr's Bald Bones. I am going on a weekend away with Doja Cat. Really? Yeah. yeah. She doesn't know it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Gaffer team. <tape. laughs> um, I like Andrew Schultz. I am a fan. I've watched quite a lot of his stand-up before. I listen to his podcast Flagrant 2 every week when it comes out. I am a sort of a, a fan. I think it's he's one of the funniest yeah. guys out there. I don't think you guys have heard him really, have you? I've, I've heard of him, but probably you told me about him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think so, yeah. Yeah, that's my, my go-to podcast at least once a week is because uh, it's just offensive. It's really yeah. good. Bit of American sports thrown in there that goes over my head a little bit, but yeah, yeah. you know the rest of it's really good. Yeah. But uh, he's just released this video yesterday and it's the first new bit of stand-up from him for quite a while because obviously it's been shut down the majority of the stand-up yeah. scene in America so uh, black MAGA trumper and pregnant white wife in the front row I'm quite hopeful about that title <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it could be a pretty good one I think so he's known for his crowd work as well mm, like yeah, he's, yeah. he's his funniest where he's interacting and he's laying into people in the crowd good. so I like that kind we'll, of comedy we'll get straight into it yeah, see what you think on. let's see come on Jersey what up <laughs> Ah, it's good to be back, man. Thank you guys for coming out here, risking your lives. This shit is beautiful. What's up? Oh, all right. I don't know if you look around, dog, but you are surrounded by black people, bro. They got you of them all angles, dude. <laughs> get them, get them. That's it. <laughs> You said you're half black? Yep. Half your family judges you, man. That's a good, that's a tricky one right there, bro. Being a minority and into MAGA. Are there any minorities that could be into MAGA where it makes sense? What do y'all think? <laughs> what about Native Americans? You don't think Native Americans want to make America great again? <laughs> you don't think they're listening to Donald Trump like we need to stop immigration they're like man we should have done that shit <laughs> 500 fucking years ago before these white motherfuckers got over here put down the peace pipe build a wall chief what you doing <laughs> are you what, are you got something a little pregnant oh this is heavy right now let's go <laughs> Ah, uh, she's putting the keep and keep America great. That's for sure. <laughs> How many months are you? Eight? Oh, you're about to go. There's a chance we could do it tonight. Is there? I'm going for it. <laughs> so you can't give birth this early? Like, what's the deal? It's like when the banana's green. I... <laughs> Can you wait longer even after the water breaks? Can you just be like, not yet? So when it comes, it comes you can't just hold it. You can't just squeeze tight. You can't Kegel it. <laughs> you could pick your baby's birthday, kind of, if you had a strong enough vagine. <laughs> Right? Like, what if you're, like, really into astrology and you're like, ew, I don't want a fucking Capricorn. And you're just like... <laughs> Pisces, Pisces, Pisces! I, I, I know this sounds dumb, but I don't think anybody tried it yet. Indians, how far off am I on all this? <laughs> am I pretty close? We gotta have at least one doctor in this table. <laughs> There is as well. <laughs> We're delivering this baby, lady. <laughs> what type of doctor are you, miss? Oh, <laughs> shit. They're the baby deliverers, aren't they? The guy knows, yeah. I love this right here. I knew we were ready to have this baby, bro. I knew we were ready to have this baby. This is what we're gonna do, man. We're gonna have your baby delivered 
by the daughter of an immigrant. That's what we're <laughs> He's not laughing that much, is he? That guy? <laughs> You're going to have to make some hard choices. <laughs> we'll build the wall later. Get over here, Miss Gupta. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, he's a funny guy, man. <coughs> he is, isn't he? Oh, yeah, I like that. He's, he's, that's just all off the top off of the, the cuff. He's well. absolutely yeah. brilliant isn't it? when it's off the yeah. cuff like that. He, he did really a whole. Good. He released a whole special last year that was just crowd work. It was yeah. about fifty minutes worth of just it, him, just of that interacting with the yeah. crowd. There was no set jokes. There was nothing, and it was hilarious. Yeah, there's, there really was. There's a guy, there's a guy I went to see, a Scouse guy um, from Liverpool, and. He worked the crowd, similar sort of thing, and it was hysterical. Yeah. It was really funny. Then I seen him again at a, at a function where it was full of rich people at the front. Yeah. And he tried to rip them, and they were just having none of it. No. Just no humour whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. He fucking died. I've heard that from a few comedians. Oh, they just bad. cannot, yeah. you know, whenever yeah. they get functions where it's lots of money and, you know, corporate if, stuff. You know, I, I love going to, when I go to comedy clubs, I love sitting near the front. They don't yeah. fucking give it me, just roast me. Yeah, if, if I can yeah. be a part of your yeah. show, if I can help a comedian take the piss. Fucking bring it on, just fucking yeah. rip me to pieces. I love it, me. Absolutely, Absolutely love it. So if Andrew Schultz plays the UK or tours yeah, we'll the UK well, again, yeah. we'll we've got to be there. Absolutely. When, got I go, when, I go, when I go to the States, um, once this lockdown's down, we've supposed to be going three times already this year. So next next year when I'm in the States, on tour, office blokes on tour, I'm definitely <laughs> going to see this guy. I'll be in Jersey anyway, and I've never heard of the Stress Factory. It must have been, it must looks, have been new since I left. Yeah. That almost looked like a bit of a pop-up venue, you yeah. know, with the, the stuff that's behind him mm. and stuff. Maybe they've moved yeah. it to a bigger yeah, venue. Yeah, it looks like for yeah. a bit of Obviously, everyone, everyone's sort of separated, aren't they, a little yeah, bit for definitely. social yeah. distancing. But yeah, I, I think he's a hilarious but I guy. Love the, I love the comedy clubs in America yeah. as well. But it's, yeah. That's yeah, so, really something cool. he's That's great right. at. He's great at ripping into all different cultures and races and stuff, but actually knows a little bit about mm. them. Mm. So he kind of, it's not just some guy mm. abusing yeah. different yeah, races. Yeah, yeah. It's all inclusive, just yeah, taking the that, piss that out of everyone. That interaction with the crowd, that comedy style, it's like, fucking brilliant. I love it. Yeah. yeah. yeah I, I like best. this guy. I'll definitely listen to more of this yeah, guy. Yeah. 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 So, so give us some requests as well. You know, if anything, any, yeah, anything similar, Bill Burr, Andrew Schultz. Uh, we like all that. Louis C.K. We've not done Louis C.K. Kind of, yet. Not yet. Not yet, but I remember Louis C.K. from years ago. I've seen a couple of his bits. I've not seen a lot of it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we hope you yeah. like that too. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Join us on a journey. And uh, we appreciate you uh, joining us. Yep. And we'll see you on the next one. Cheers, Cheers guys. guys.